you can't stop God. Okay, guys. Uh, that was interesting. Okay. <laughs> I started this video a couple minutes ago. <laughs> and I was talking about, okay, Jeannie's statement. This is the statement. Would it be accurate statement to say that we are consciousness slash energy and together we are collective consciousness and that collective consciousness is God? So as a collective, we could call it one energy, quote, or parentheses, or whatever it's called. Energy is able to merge, yet there are many individual consciousnesses within that collective. Now, I was talking about this. <laughs> and explaining how I felt and all of a sudden the phone went hinky and then it went black and then everything in my body just went weird it's like an electrical charge it, it, basically what it was is it was the geckos and the geckos said uh, they were trying to shut me up and hurt me and five years ago I would have probably been down on my back because of that for a week but now I just kind of went well uh and it went flying through me and didn't affect me. Now I just laugh at it. So just funny thing happens. Oh, that happened because they found me through those ads that are now on my videos. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving the ads up and see if I can uh, pay a bill or two with what comes in through YouTube. Hope, hope. After two years, maybe I can get paid for 400 videos. What do you think, guys? Okay, back to Jeannie's statement now. Okay. This th That statement is accurate, but I want to clarify because it's also inaccurate. And I want you all to understand that because what people tend to do is they go, okay, well, source is out there, God is out there, and when we merge with source or God, we become one with source and God, and we are one entity, kind of like a hive mind. Okay, and that's not accurate. In the first place... Every, you are in source right now. You you cannot disconnect from source. You cannot disconnect from all that is. You are a part of all that is always. So is a chair. So is a butterfly. All of it is source slash God. I use source because I don't like the term God because I was raised by a hellfire and brimstone preacher. So it has negative connotations to me. But feel free to use it all you want. However, I want you all to understand that anything, all of us within this source energy are also God. We have access to all of the knowledge, all of the power that that whole source does. It doesn't diminish whenever we, we separate and put amnesia between us. The only reason it looks like we don't have the knowledge and the power is because of your own amnesia. That is the only reason you don't have all the power of all of source and all of the access to all of the knowledge and knowing everything about all things. The only reason you can't is because you have put the amnesia in place. So when that amnesia comes up, and that's all it is, remove the amnesia, you will be you, God you, and you are already merged with Source. You can't not merge with Source. You are merging with Source now. All of us are Source. You can't separate from Source. So whenever you say, um, to, together we are a collective consciousness, yes, we are. Uh, however, by being a collective consciousness, that does not mean you lose who you are. Uh, you you are you are a, a part of of the source energy. You have access to all the rest of it, and I've used the analogy of the different aspects of you that you have your child self, and you have your teenage self, and you have your young American self, middle age, whatever, whoever you are, business self, a worker self, father self, um, son self. You have all of these selves that are very unique inside of you and you know all of them and they certainly, the child does not follow what the business part of you wants to do. The business part does not follow what the what the child part wants to do but in the moment when the child was the child, the child got to do what the child wanted to do. It had nothing to do with business self. And then you added more selves and that's like 
you losing your amnesia and starting to merge with the table and starting to and you don't become the table you don't have the experience of the table however you can know what the experience of the table was you certainly can do that you can't interfere with somebody else's creation and process that's that's kind of an accepted rule so you can't interfere with another aspect but you can know everything about what they're doing in the moment and they can know exactly what's happening with you outside of this game that is how we play by the way nobody has amnesia outside the game we're all creating games and interacting with other games and there's uh, bits and pieces of you all over the place doing all kinds of things, and it's no big deal, guys. The only reason it is a big deal for me to explain this to you guys now is that you have been living in linear time space in amnesia, okay? Understanding conceptually how all of this source slash God slash energy merging thing works, you're trying to... You're, you're, you're trying to understand quantum mechanics before you can read. And what I'm saying is don't worry about that. That will come. That will come easily and quickly. You won't even have to try. What you want to do now is start understanding basics. Like there's no such thing as time and space. That thinking gets in your way. That you've got amnesia and you started, you need to start trusting your instincts. Because the rest of it, um, shoot, the second you die, you'll remember all this. But these concepts are very difficult in linear time space because y'all think bigger and smaller and separate and, and joining and merging. And all of those things are just concepts that are just part of the linear time space game. They're illusions. They're not really true at all. So what you start doing is start getting rid of the little things first. And as you remember, you'll know. You'll understand that telepathy has nothing at all to do with reading somebody else's thoughts sentence by sentence. We don't do it that way. There's a knowingness of all that is being felt, known, experienced, and thought all at once. It's, it's not a, we don't get in your head and follow your thoughts because as... The Empress said that would be boring, really, really boring, guys. People think boring thoughts. That's not what we're doing. We, we understand each other totally. That's what telepathy is. And I know it's been depicted differently in movies, but they're wrong and I'm right. So there you go. Okay? So great thought, Jeannie, as usual. Um, I appreciate you. Love you bunches. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I love you so much, and talk to you later. Bye now.